All right, let's look at that problem I passed out. Yeah, which is this one. All right, so what type of problem is this? There's two types of problems. Either you know all the forces and you're trying to calculate the size of the pin, or you know all the sizes and you're trying to calculate the maximum force. This one, we know all the forces and we're trying to calculate the size of, you know, whatever it's asking. In this case, it's just asking for the diameter of B. All right, so what did I do? We did statics and I found P, BX, and BY, right? And then I just kind of made a note, hey, look, I've got BX of 4.3, BY of 2.25, so A squared plus B squared take the square root, so the magnitude of the force of the pin is 4.85. Okay, so for this pin, we were told the shear and bearing, we were given, this is shear, this is bearing, bearing stress, so, so kind of a red flag. Hey, at this pin, check both shear and bearing. So I said, okay, well, what if it fails due to shear? What if it fails due to shear? Well, first of all, I know it's going to fail at 172, and I was told to use a factor of safety of 2.5. So instead of, letting, instead of setting the stress to 172, I'm only setting the stress to 68.8, right? So the first thing is if, if you're told a factor of safety, use it. Right, so if I know it fails at 172, I'm gonna divide it by the factor of safety, I'm only gonna let it go up to 68.8, all right? So I know this, this is tau equals V over A. I know tau is 68.8. I know that V is 4.85, but I divide it by two. Why do I divide it by two? Because this side view showed me it's a double shear connection. Double shear. So it's like one, one plate is taking half of it, the other plate is taking half of it. So we use, we don't use this 4.85, we use 4.85 divided by two because it's in double shear, because the figure showed us it was in double shear. Okay. Uh, another, uh, why did I use 4,850? Just because I prefer Newtons right? for my units to work out. I prefer Newtons. All right, so I knew that I'm going to let the stress get up to 68.8. I know the force at the pin, 4.85, divided by 2 because it's in double shear. And then now I can find the area. I now I can find the diameter of the pin, 6.8 millimeters. This is the diameter that would cause it to fail due to shear. I should use something greater than 6.7, right? I should use something. If, if I get down to a diameter of 6.7, it's gonna shear. It's gonna fail due to shear. I mean, I've used a factor of safety actually, so hopefully I have some wiggle room, but that's what I've calculated. It needs to be at least 6.7 millimeters. All right, that was failure mode one, shear failure. I need to test failure mode two, bearing failure. All right. So I know I'm going to allow it to get up to 165.6, right? Because I was given the materials, failure is really 414. Um, and I need to use a factor of safety of 2.5. Uh, so I'm only going to allow it to get up to 165.6. I know that the force right here is 4,850. Uh, we could look at diagrams. I think I might explain this somewhere in some video. Uh, but for bearing at the middle, for bearing at the middle, whether it's in single or double shear, whether it's in single or double shear, you don't divide it by two. Um, all right, we could, we could talk about it. don't divide the bearing but by two. It doesn't matter whether it's in single or double shear. Uh, it takes the full 4.85 kilonewtons. 
All right, and I divide it by this rectangle. This rectangle has diameter of the pin and it has a thickness. Where did I get that? From here, this thickness right here. That thickness right there at the middle uh, is 10. So I know the thickness is 10. I'm trying to calculate the diameter. So I calculate the diameter to be 2.93. That's the diameter that it would fail due to bearing. That's the diameter it would fail due to bearing. I found two different diameters. I found the diameter that it would fail due to shear, 6.7. I found the diameter that it would fail due to bearing. So what is the minimum diameter we can use? The largest diameter. It, it, see, it's, it's that almost, almost opposite what you might think, but that makes sense, right? The minimum diameter we can use, I'm gonna choose a larger, I'm gonna choose a 6.7, because once I get under 6.7, it has already failed due to shear. It has already failed due to shear. Okay? Okay, so it's a little bit counterintuitive, but for problems like this, you need to find the diameter that the pin fails due to bearing, the diameter that the pin fails due to shear, and the minimum diameter it's going to be the larger of the two. Wouldn't uh, 